Today about um, transferring martial arts exercises into free fighting and, and that kind of thing. Um, a lot of times when we come from martial arts, and what a lot of people will get into if they haven't done martial arts and they're just getting into lightsabers and they've never done weapon work or anything like that before, is they get into these kind of sequences of calls and responses. Like they they they'll start a sequence here, I come in with a chop here, and then they go, okay, no, you're gonna do something, he comes over and does that, and then I come over and do this, and then he's gonna go over and do something else, and I'm gonna do that, and then there's like these long sequences and maybe four or five interchanges between the person, right? And sometimes they can look pretty cool. Um, some of the velocities that we do have, have that feeling, but um, the velocities are drills, and they're not really, they're not really intended to replicate fighting, just focus on particular things that you do in fighting. And that's really what those are for, right? So if I come in here like this, and I do something like this, right, and he then is going to respond, right, um, what that's basically doing is just saying, here's a sequence that happens, right, and you should probably know how to get out of it. It's not the idea that this entire sequence of events is going to happen and unfold in that very way, right? So if I'm here like this, and we do this one here, okay? Now, right, <laughs> this would be teaching him not to do that, because if he does it to me, if he pushes my hand down, right, and I come up like this, well, that's not gonna do much. Okay, <clears throat> what it's actually teaching is when he does it and he comes down, right, is I learn how to move it there. Now, of course, I could come in and do stuff like this and blah, blah, blah. That's not how it works in fighting, right? When you are fighting, it has to happen in one movement, in one, one thought, okay? Um, you can set people up if you see patterns in them, but generally speaking, it's going to be all, all going in for that one thing. We're not going to try to drag stuff out. We're not going to kind of move through there. Why don't you put on some okay. gear? Okay. So basically, when we go free, right, that's, that's it, right? Because we don't want to... We don't want to get in there and, and, and really risk ourselves. Good. Okay? That's what it's like when you're not cooperating. Okay? <laughs> and that's the that's the that's the key to martial arts. It has to be non-cooperative. Okay? Martial arts has to be non-cooperative. You start cooperatively, but it has to end up where the person is not being cooperative. Okay? Cool. So if I'm going through a bunch of little sequences that he knows, he can pick up on that. Right? This is why we always say try to focus on the on the fundamentals and not and, and not be married to one thing. Right, because you can you can pick this kind of stuff up, right? So if I know that when he comes in this way, he's always going that way, I'm just going to do that, right? So here, right there, and it doesn't matter what he does, right? That's what's going to do, okay? Mm -hmm. So here we go, okay? Yeah. So. <clears throat> Right there, we can take that move for a second, okay? If we're going that way, and I see him, what am I really going for because I see that, see that there, okay? I'm here like this, I throw a strike, okay? So what do I see? 
right? I see where his hands go. I see what he's go what he's doing next. So if I'm here, that's one thing, right? I go here. Okay. That parry isn't going to do anything to that strike, right? Okay. Because it comes around the sides. Oh. Right? So when I'm over here, that's what I'm doing. Okay. There. So when I'm really kind of going at it, that's the stuff that I pick out, right? And I and, and I exploit. Okay. That's yes, it's like this. This is where we practice it, right? It's all of that thing. It's with all of those things. Right? So in the in the velocity, okay, we're here. Okay, that's just practicing, right? In real life, oh, oh sorry. Okay? Oh my god. That's how it's used. Okay. Now, when I see it coming in, if he throws one, I'll do that. Okay. But generally speaking, if he comes in and I do that, I should get him on the next strike. Okay. I shouldn't want three. Three is my limit, right? If I come in for one, two, three, now I now I disengage. Okay. Okay. Because three, once you get three. Once you get more than three, you can start discerning a pattern, okay? And you get robotic about it, right? And then the other person can take advantage of that, all right? Okay, so that's just a basic kind of general thing. So when you, when you do a Dulan or you do a form, do a two-person exercise, you see a choreography in the movies and all of that, just remember that that's not fighting, okay? Fighting is very chaotic. It's often very messy. It doesn't look very good necessarily, right? People are just kind of going, going for what, what they need to, right? They're making their parries when they need to. They're reposting, they're making attacks, all of that kind of thing, right? So don't get married to forms. Don't get married to sequences. Those things are not, that's not what they're for. They're for training specific sequences, getting up your cardio, allowing your mechanics to fall into line, and giving you something to practice that can simulate the kind of feeling on your body that fighting will necessarily give you without a person there, because most of the time we're training by ourselves. All right, all right, so uh, thank you to Ryan for helping me. Thank you for uh, tuning in. We will see you next time. Have a great day. Happy savoring.